Now your milk, your milk is hot, okay? So now take this little bag right here. Uh huh. And pour them. See the little Santas in there? Uh -huh. Do I have to pour all of them in there? If you want it really chocolatey. I do. Oh, the Santas. Yeah, the hot Some milk is gonna melt them. Hold on a second. Let me get you a spoon. Yeah. Can you use that spoon to mix up your Santas. Oh, I feel it. It's making it so swell. See how the milk is turning colors? Yep. Be careful, that milk's hot, okay? I don't even feel a drink here. I know, but that's because it's a thermos. It is hot. Do you want to put some marshmallows in your... Um, I am, I'm just mixing it up. I need somewhere where I can see it better. Oh okay. uh, yeah, here's oh. <laughs> fresh rose, hi. Yeah, put as many in there as you want to. Here's one. There's two, there's three. I'm gonna make a snowman mushroom and put it in there. We got squishy together. Squish them together. If you bite a little piece off of them, that makes them sticky. Oh yeah. They're gonna stick together. There we go. <laughs> They're good, ain't they? <laughs> oh, you want to put some more in your hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. They'll melt a little bit. Or you can eat them with your spoon. Just when you're drinking that, be real careful, okay? Because it's hot. It's hot chocolate. Yeah, it's supposed to be hot. It's supposed to be hot. Look at it. It's nice and chocolatey. That's so cool, ain't it? All those little Santas melted. Alright, good job. Be careful with it. Just, just, oh, all right, all right, hold on. First, uh -huh, first thing step one, we had to melt the butter, which Mama already did, because it's hot. Let me dump it in there, and then you can... Mix it up. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> and what you gotta add to the butter is this bowl right here. Okay, before dump you can mix it up. Yeah, dump it in there. Take this butter. Now mix up gently. No sling it everywhere. I'm going to cut this brown stuff so I can... That's brown sugar. We're going to cut the brown sugar so I can mix it up better. <clears throat> I'm a professional while I'm mixing stuff up. Yeah. Mix it up real good. To mix this up, you're going to need to mix it up for 40 out, an hour and 55 seconds. I'll let you mix it for a minute and then Mama will mix it, okay? It's a minute. If you want to do it by minute, it would be minute and 450 right. seconds. Let Mama see it for a second, okay? Good job. You did good. Make sure we get all those butter. The pork, you got to pour it all in there. Yeah, don't touch the pans. I already got grease on. Not the sides, so I can touch the sides. All right, next step is we got to add the vanilla and the egg, which is in that blue bowl. I wouldn't Not this one, this one. The vanilla and the egg. Put it in there, that's why it's brown. That's what vanilla is. It's like a brown liquid. What right. is that? That's some more stuff I got in a minute. All right, kind of break that egg yolk up. Mm -hmm. And then mix it together. Really good, you got to incorporate all of okay. it. Okay. Go down a step. I was going to get All right, that'll work. Mix up really good. It's okay if I, if I get oil on me on the accident. Here, here, I'll help you hold the bowl. Not too fast, because how accidents happen. All right, let's hey! Scrape it. This is how professionals fix it up. You okay. take it and you do that. Let me see this for a second. I'm going to scrape these sides off. Okay. Is it my turn to mix now? Yes. Go ahead and mix some more. Tell you say stop. Let me see the special for a second. Oh, you're going to scrape it. I want you have a turn to mix. I'm just trying to get all that butter in there. I just want to turn to mix. I'm going to go down a step. Can I eat one of those chocolates? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Alright, next we got to add the flour. And gently, don't dump it because it'll fly everywhere. Okay, so gently pour it in there. You do it a little bit quicker than that. <laughs> there you go. 
I'll take that little bow and put it in there as well. Ooh. That looks like flour too. It's baking soda and salt. You got some of it on my hand. Can I mix it up? Yeah, let me let me get it started. Okay. So that is this gonna be dough? It is, it's gonna be cookie dough. Alright now mix it gently, okay? Like this. If you mix it too fast, it'll a little bit more than that. But if you mix it too fast, it'll start flying everywhere. Like Yeah, we don't want that to happen, do we? And be messy. Right here it'll be like that. Mix it up, okay. Right here it would also be mixy. Messy. See, you gotta be careful. But it got on the oil. It's okay. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. the car. The ketchup right there? Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the car. So if I take chicken nuggets, that's our ketchup? Yes. Let me get this mixed and then you can add the chocolate. I'm gonna hold it to the You're not supposed to be eating it. <laughs> Alright, dump it in there. Don't yes! Yeah. Can I drill it? Gently. Like don't don't eat it over there. later. <laughs> uh, I gotta open my scrap off for Beverly real quick. Had a better day today, mental mental health wise. <laughs> Still congested. Roll. Oh, it's a pretty garnet color. <laughs> I'm bad at color names. Again, lighting's bad. It's dark outside and I just have an overhead light. I didn't dig out my other light, but it's pretty color. I went in the box or whatever the other ones. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I messaged Devin last night asking him if he could stop to get some tissues on the way home this morning. And he did, but he also got me some flowers. I showed him in a little clip and some yarn <laughs> and uh, a chocolate crepe pie. <laughs> but uh, this is the yarn that he bought me. He is so sweet. He always buys me stuff when I'm sick or if I... You know, having like bad days and stuff. He's, he's just the sweetest. <laughs> but he got me two uh, of the big skates of Red Heart Super Saver Ombre Violet, which I've never had. The purple. So pretty. And then he got me two of the big skates of the super, Red Heart Super Saver uh, stripes. Yeah, stripes. Polo stripes. I've had this before, but not the jumble skates. So he got me these four balls of yarn. <laughs> And some flowers and tissues <laughs> and a chocolate cream pie. He's so sweet. <laughs> but uh, that's what he brought home this morning. So that was so sweet of him. But I have no idea what I'm going to make with those. I have to find something. I love ombre. Um, Medal <laughs> Red Heart Ombre. <laughs> I've used uh, Scuba and whatever the pink one's called. <laughs> pink and gray. I've used the pink and the gray and the blue scuba one. I've never had the purple one, so I'm looking forward to that. This lot of pure flickers. The bulbs are weird, and I can't find the right size bulbs. We've taken the bulbs from that fan with two lows and to Walmart with us, and we can't find bulbs that match it. Uh, it's probably a really old ceiling fan. These these apartments were built in, I think, the 80s or 70s. 
I'm not sure. <laughs> I'd have to ask. But uh, I think that might be an original <laughs> because I cannot find the bulbs to fit it. So one shot and the other one's like getting ready to shoot. <laughs> it flickers. But uh, anyways, that's why the lights flicker in here. <laughs> I don't usually use that. I have a lamp. I guess I could turn that on. I forgot about that lamp. <laughs> a little bit better. I got a mark from my glasses. But yeah, so... Uh, I realized lately that I feel better in the evenings than I do in the mornings. In the mornings, I'm really sore and I don't sleep good. It hurts my back and stuff. So it's probably why I'm so sore in the mornings. Um, so what did I do today? I gotta think of for a minute. I crocheted a whole lot on my Christmas blanket. I finished, uh, uh today I made 10. No, wait. Was that yesterday? Yes. I can't remember now. Yeah, yesterday. I'm wearing a red shirt today and yesterday, but it's a different shirt. <laughs> this is my elf shirt. Yesterday I was wearing my, not today, uh, Satan shirt. Uh, I made the squares yesterday, I think. Yes, <laughs> I made the 10 squares yesterday. And then today I made 16 appliques. So the squares for the Christmas blanket are all done. I just have to attach them together and do a border and then eventually line it. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get around to lining the blankets until after the new year. Because I have to go to Joanne's to get the fleece or flannel, whichever I decide to put on the back of the two blankets. Um, and I don't foresee me doing that this this next week or so. I might. I don't know. But I won't make no promises. <laughs> so, today I worked on those appliques on and off throughout the whole day. <laughs> I just got done sewing the last ones. I used uh, three of the patterns that were from Maria's Blue Crown. I used her gingerbread band her wreath and her Christmas lights, but I didn't want to make the elves, <laughs> mostly because they were had so many color changes and I was still want to get done. So I just made up little presents myself um, and they have presents on them <laughs> instead of little elves. Uh, so yeah, I, th I think they're all cute. So I'm, I can't wait to see them all together. I hope the colors go good together. I didn't really check into the, to see how they would match, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got to start piecing it together. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Start working on that tomorrow. Uh, and try to get that. I want to get it done before uh, the end of the year. That's my goal. I got my uh, maybe the stitch one done. Except lining. And then I want to get the Christmas one done that way as well. Because uh, I don't want to go into the new year with any big whips. Because of having a baby. Because <laughs> I'm afraid if I have her... Um, with a big whip, it'll probably never get done, or at least not until sometime next, you know, into next year. So uh, I'm gonna try to stick to littler projects, <laughs> little amigurumis and things like that, uh, until I'm waiting, you know, up to wait for her. I'm not worried about crocheting while she's little, unless she's a much different baby than Jesse was. Je we got so lucky with Jesse. He was such a chill baby. He never threw fits or anything. He was content in uh, pack or what are they called? Swings. Or does little bouncy chairs or just laying on the floor when he got big enough to, you know, move, start moving around. He was a really content baby. <laughs> uh, he never threw big fits or anything on us. <laughs> he did on the grandparents. But um, I made all kinds of stuff when Jess was little. I w he'd be like a, a month or two old sitting in my, my lap asleep. I'd just be sitting cross-legged. Um, Crisscross applesauce. <laughs> and he'd be tucked into my legs, you know. And I'd just be making amigurumis right over his little head. I made the whole uh, Harry Potter characters from uh made by mary she has a whole set of all the harry potter characters i made all of them when he was like three months old and he just slept in my legs the whole time i was making them um and I, I, at the time i was like watching glee i think i was binge watching glee <laughs> and uh i know this because i have video clips of it it was before i did videos but i still took home videos all the time but uh i'm hoping she's similar to that so i could still crochet a lot and also sew uh, but I don't know we'll have to wait and see she could be total opposite and could be throwing fits constantly <laughs> I'll, I'll just have to wait and see but um, that's why I don't want big projects going into the new year uh, so like these that he just bought me they'll probably just go on the shelf for a little while until we see how her temperament is <laughs> I'll just keep working on little amigurumis and maybe like hats and cows and you know quick projects like that which stinks because I have two cardigans that I want to make, but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait, and uh, I might take some crochet to the hospital with me if I have to be induced. I did with Jesse a baby blanket that was actually a gift that I gifted someone. Uh, 
back then. <laughs> and uh, I worked on it while I was in labor up to, you know, certain point. <laughs> and uh, bless you. And because <laughs> uh, when, when I was induced, it took forever. I got induced. I spent one night in the hospital because they were doing 24-hour urine. And then um, that next day, I got induced midnight that next night. And, uh, you know, they're like, you try to get some rest. And it's like impossible to do when they're coming in there every five minutes to check on you. And plus, you're, you're starting to be in labor. But, um, so I snoozed on and off and also crocheted on and off. And I got a lot of work on that blanket done. Because they, they induced me at 12 midnight. And he was born at 1.40 p.m. So I labored for uh, 13 hours. I started pushing at 1. And he was born at 1.40 but uh, anyways, uh, I don't know if I'll do that <laughs> this time. Uh, yeah, I got sidetracked. What else did I do today? <laughs> we made cookies finally. I felt good enough to do that. Um, I made dinner. <laughs> I actually cooked dinner, which is saying a lot. Uh, I mean, it was spaghetti because I didn't have any meat thawed out. So uh, I just went digging in the pantry and I found the stuff to make spaghetti with. So we made spaghetti. It was good. We only have spaghetti like twice a year. Cause I'm not a big fan of pasta and uh, spaghetti is one of those things I grew up eating it like all the time because we were poor <laughs> um, and it's one of those things that I'm just kind of sick of you know <laughs> so I like it every now and then but it was good today because we've only had it like once more this year earlier this year uh, crocheted a lot I cleaned up the kitchen a lot uh, ran you know after I made the cookies I cleaned everything ran the dishwasher it's dry now uh, I hand washed some dishes from then and from cooking spaghetti. Uh, I did a little laundry. It's in the basket. It's washed and dried, but it's still in the basket. It's towels, so I could just stay there <laughs> and ain't gonna hurt it. Uh, oh, I got some more stuff in the baby bag. I got the rest of my clothes in there, other than bras. Um, because I only have a few bras and I wear them, you know, so. Uh, plus, after I have a baby, I probably won't be wearing a bra for a while because it's going to be uncomfortable. So, but now all that's got to go in there is Devin's clothes. Um, a phone charger for him because I put an extra phone charger that I bought from Amazon in there already. My speaker for so I can listen to music. Uh, it's charging right now because I want to make sure it still works. And then I'm going to put it and its charger in there. Um, snacks. What else was it? Oh, and the car seat. We gotta get it. It's at my mom's. So we gotta get it and soon and we're gonna go ahead and install it in the car to make sure that it fits in there good and everything. And that we both know how to get it in and out. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Because I already got the rest of her stuff in there. Oh, I wanna get me some lotion to put in there. Uh, so I can lotion, you know, my hands and feet and stuff because I'll be cleaning them a lot, you know, uh, at the hospital. I think that's about it. Because I went through my checklist. I got most of it on there already. So. Oh, and I also put a big empty bag in there for the free stuff they give you. Because last time, I didn't have an empty bag. And they were trying to give me all kinds of formula and diapers and everything. So we could only take a little bit. But I prepared this time. I took in a big old bag. A big empty reusable bag. Just for us to put all that formula. Those little formula bottles. And any diapers they want to give me. And anything like that. I'm just going to stuff it full. <laughs> And they gave us all kinds of pacifiers. Jesse only used a pacifier when he was newborn uh, at the hospital. He never used it once we got home, uh, which is good because we never had to break him from it. But I don't know if June will be that way. We'll have to see. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they're usually really nice at the hospitals like that. They try to give you everything. Because if you don't take it with you and you leave it in the room, they're just going to have to throw it out anyways. So I will take it. We took uh, some of the baby clothes from the hospital they gave us with the hospital logo on it. And uh, a lot of the little blankets. I still have some of them. I kept them as, like, mementos. They're in Jesse's special box. But, yeah. Anyways. So, I'm excited about my yarn. He's so sweet. I'm, I'm so lucky to be with him. He's just the sweetest guy ever. And, uh I can't think of anything else that I did today. <laughs> just random picking up here and there. Uh, I did crochet a lot today. It was just on the same things. I watched a lot of YouTube videos while crocheting. And I also watched some uh, documentary on Netflix while crocheting. 
Uh, I gotta give Jesse a bath here in a little bit, and then I'm gonna take a quick shower. I don't have to wash my hair, so I'll put a shower cap on and it'll be a fast shower. Uh, let's see here. We'll probably play Monopoly or something, because he wants to play one of those. I think it's five something right now. Devin left for work already. It's probably close to six. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow's Monday. He's supposed to be going to my mom's at some point tomorrow, and he's gonna stay until either Wednesday evening or maybe Thursday morning sometime. Um, let's see here. Tomorrow, I'll probably go check the mail at some point if we have anything to pick up. Hmm. I don't have anything else to do tomorrow <laughs> other than, you know, house stuff. And I want, I'd like to record some crochet videos because I have I didn't yesterday and today <laughs> because I didn't feel good. But uh, I need to do my Moving Stitch Z and show the finished blanket and talk about how I finished it. And another No Catch Jam episode because I got a pile of finished objects. Uh, Tuesday's my OB appointment. And I'm also, we're going to do some kind of date night. Because her Jesse will be at my mom's and... Uh, I thought that would be just a good time for us to do a little date night. Probably just get something to eat and go look at Christmas lights or something. Uh, around our square. I'd like to get out, you know, park and get out and walk around. Uh, yeah. I guess that's it. And then Wednesday, I'll be making some more cookies and some chocolate bark. And then Thursday is Christmas Eve. So we'll be going to my sister's that evening. I have to make little Smokies earlier that day to take to my sister's with the cookies and then the bark is for my in-laws on Christmas day. So yeah, that's my plan for this week. <laughs> I want to start some new projects cause I don't have any whips right now other than that Christmas blanket. Uh, oh, and those gingerbread ornaments. I need to finish those. They're halfway done. I've got four done, four pieces. So I got four more pieces to go and then I got to put them all together to make four ones. What? S. Okay, let me get S. S. Q. What? <laughs> I don't know. C. No, it's a Q. U. Not a Q. You gonna have to bring here. I can't see it from that far away. <laughs> don't get on camera though, cause you ain't got no clothes on. Is that a Q? That's a P, silly. <laughs> this is, if you were close though, right there underneath the one. Okay, U. K. U. I. Oh, I was right after all. D. D. I thought it was a B. No, it's a D. You just say it. You just say it with a B. It's. <laughs> it's squid. But you say squib. I just don't correct you because it's cute. <laughs> don't pull that curtain down. Boy. What do? Did you put the D on there? No, I thought it. Alright, now you search. No, that's me. That's me. <laughs> well, search. Put the D on there and search it, and it should bring it up. Squid. Yeah, it's squid, not squib. <laughs> it's just cute when you say it that way. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I guess I've been chatting for 15 minutes now. I already opened that yarn. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I'm going to edit this here uh, so that I don't have to stay up late editing it. <laughs> And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'll do the Moving Stitch uh, video. And then Tuesday I'll do uh, No Catch Name 160, I think. can't remember what number I'm on. <laughs> and then Wednesday I'll be Watch Work on Wednesday. And then Thursday will probably be Happy Mail because I got a little pile behind here. And I've got, I'm sure I'll get some Christmas cards. There's actually some in the post office right now. I just didn't feel like going and getting them yesterday. Um, I think there was four. So I'll show all those uh, on Christmas Eve. And then I don't think, I don't know what I'm going to do for Christmas other than a vlog. There will be a vlog that day. But, uh, what did, wait, I'm missing a day. Because Christmas is Saturday. Friday is, Friday is Christmas Eve. I don't know, I'm confused. I'll have to look at my calendar. But, um, there'll be videos this week. Uh, Lord willing, and I don't get sicker and get depressed <laughs> or going to labor or something like that. I am planning on vlogging all of December, by the way, not just to Christmas. Normally my vlogmas is just to Christmas, but this year I want to just finish it off. <laughs> just want to finish off the year, you know, <laughs> but, uh, 
and I am, if I ever go into labor, if I get to go into labor, I'm going to take vlog clips then too, uh, and at the hospital and everything. It's just, they, it won't come out until after it's all over, of course, because I won't be able to edit it at the hospital. I'll be a little preoccupied. Devin doesn't know how to do any of that. I might, my sister knows how to do YouTube stuff, so I might, if I go into labor <laughs> one day, I might have her come onto my YouTube either in a video or uh, on the community post just to let y'all know <laughs> that that's why I'm not there but I'm sure you'll figure it out <laughs> if I uh, disappear for a few days you might you might figure that out but uh, I think it'd be fun to film some clips of not the labor but you know like the leading up to the labor uh, obviously I'm not gonna share too much I don't want like my whole body out there on the internet but um, I just think it'd be cute and there'll be a birth announcement too with her little face oh, I can't wait uh, yeah I just thought that'd be fun I'm still talking. It's been 18 minutes. I'm still sitting here talking, but I didn't feel good yesterday, so I'm making up for it today. <laughs> I'm still sick. Uh, it's still mostly up here. I am medicating, but I can only medicate so much since I'm pregnant, so it's not really doing the greatest job, but I just had a bad mental day yesterday. I just needed a break, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to figure out where to put this yarn. <laughs> It seems like every time I use up some, I, I get some either gift, you know, like Devin bought this for me or I get some in the mail or something, which I appreciate. I appreciate him buying it for me and people sending it to me. It's just, I try to work through my stash. So it's, it's like every time I get rid of a ball, another one just shows up. <laughs> but um, these ones at least I have, I've, I've used this to make a scarf set uh, last year or 2019. I've never had this one and it's so pretty. So I gotta figure out what to make with it. How many yards is in these? 42 each so that's a pretty good amount of uh, that purple yarn I don't know but I'm not gonna worry about it now because I need to stick to little projects until the baby's born <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here and get this edited and up for you guys and then I gotta get Jesse in the bath and me in the shower and then we gotta get ready for bed and all that fun stuff and get ready for Christmas week to start so I will see you guys tomorrow in a vlog and hopefully in a moving stitch video if I can get around to filming it bye guys <laughs>